For the first time this school year, some students in some districts went to class without a mask. And it comes during the final week of a chaotic school year. New specialist Matt Rascone is live in Utah County with the reaction from students. I imagine it was something like this. Ah, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, sigh of relief, right? So the governor gave the green light earlier this month and most school districts followed. There are students though, though, that we spoke to here that say that uh, this was just a good way to wrap up a year that's just been filled with the unexpected. I've never seen a year quite like this. Only days to go in an unusual and challenging school year. It's been pretty weird, <laughs> yeah. And things finally look a bit more ordinary on campus. The senior year has been a handful, I'll tell you that. Ethan Hemingway is one of many students at Lehigh High School. Just slowly taking it in. To ditch the mask during the final days of class. And now that we're removing masks, it's just interesting just to see how the world's changing bit by bit. I feel like it's been really weird with masks because we can't see each other's faces. Alpine School District joined most districts across the state in following the governor's latest direction, encouraging but not requiring face masks. Some definitely are considering it a, a great um, reward for the work that they've done throughout the, the school year. How are you guys? Congratulations! You've graduated from kindergarten. Some typical events like kindergarten graduation are still taking a turn from the usual during the final week. Well, congratulations. Here's your diploma. But for high school students like Ethan. Oh boy, graduation. I had, did not think it was going to be the same. The upcoming in-person graduation ceremony and the recent move away from masks. Yeah, most people just didn't wear them. Are a sign of a more ordinary school year to come. I'm going to be really glad to get back to it because I've been missing it, but I think it's going to be kind of a cool story to, to like tell our kids, be like, hey, I kind of lived through a pandemic. So next week, more school districts will follow removing that mask requirement during the final week. Salt Lake City School District is one that has opted to keep it in place until the end of the school year.